There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a Ticksoft game. Uh, what are they presenting? An SAV creation of Rollin. Copyright Radiesel. And look at that terrifying uh, creature. All right, we got some music. That's nice. Uh, let's have a look at the game control. Player one is keyboard one. We can define the keyboard controls. Okay, instead of having the usual, they have uh, scan codes. All right, let's see. Yeah, everything everything's in its place. Um, we'll we'll figure out the rest when we're in. So we've got high scores table, ordering information, uh, demo, story. Let's have a look at the story briefly. We start in the year 2037. Professor, Professor Bruno Hattie has set up a secret laboratory in a far-off planet, Roller 4, in the Flotch system. In this lab, he performs illegal experiments on the cute local race, the Jumpies. The peace-loving jumpies are mutated into balls, which are set free in dangerous mazes. So far, not one of the jumpies has ever found his way back from a professor's castle. And this goes on for seven pages. <laughs> and uh, th this, this was actually quite common with a lot of DOS games. I've, I've done it in the past, most notably with Street Ball, where they have an extensive storyline behind it. And uh, for the most part, it means absolutely nothing. So music's okay. Uh, seems to be in uh, a very wide stereo separation, but it's not too bad. Let's get going. Uh, one player game, and we'll see what happens. Level one, time limit, no limit. That's what I like to see. And the password is Astrio, A7RIO. Uh, Okay, so we are a ball and we have no time limit and there's a shop. So map, one map shows you part of the level to get the complete overview. Ah, you need six maps, right, okay. So we don't have any gold, but this was entirely unexpected already. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking that there'd be a shop system. Let's just pick up some gold and there is momentum. So, I can just really build up speed, as you can see here. And uh, that's teleported us, I believe, yes. Okay, where, oh no, we teleported back. All right, let's just move away from that. Okay, now where? Oh, more money. We'll be taking that, thank you very much. Uh, we'll teleport this way. Now, I wonder, do we escape the maze or do we um, just keep going until we can, like, buy all the maps? With 2,000 gold now, there's another shop. Uh, let's just pick up that. Uh, oh, ran into the shop by accident there. Um, let's buy a piece of the map. Uh, leave shop. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't know how to uh, access the map, but we'll just keep going. We have an unlimited amount of time on this, and we'll see. We'll see where it goes. See where it takes us. Presumably, there'll be enemies at some point. Um, what's this? Oh, that looks like I could fall through there. Let's just gently roll. Uh oh. Uh, can't seem to get past that. Let's just hit it. Nope. Ram it. No. Bop it. Spin it. Um, so if we build up enough momentum, momentum, momentum. Nope. <laughs> that did not work. So we've two lives left. There's probably a way to figure it out. 
And as you can see from the game, oh, I bumped into the shop again and uh, I'll leave that. It does have a habit of triggering, like when, when you're near, which is both a positive and to its detriment. Let's go in here. Right. That sound is almost like a hydralisk. Listen. <laughs> it's not quite like the hiss of a hydralisk. But it's it's quite similar. Anyway, let's pick up some more cash. Really, we're just repeating ourselves at this point. Is there a jump button? There's a select button. So you can select various items. Uh, there's probably a use button somewhere. Let's see if space does it. Nope. Oh well. The music is pleasant enough. The gameplay isn't terrible and even though I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing on this first level you get a, a, a basic idea of what's going on here well that was graceful I'm known for my beauty and my grace don't need don't need anything sorry Let's, uh, go back this way again now there was some dynamite. My guess, in my esteemed estimation here, is that we would need two bits of dynamite. Oops, slowly does it. To uh, blow those up. But since I don't have uh, the ability to use dynamite, I am just going to aimlessly throw myself around. So let's let's see if we can we can figure out. So, there is the dynamite there, you'll see at the bottom, but how do I press it? Let's see, control selects, you'd think enter would be the logical one to, to do it with, but no. Let's see if we can abort the game and find out the control. Uh, game, control... Uh, let's go to keyboard one. So activate is 56. I'm going to change that to 28, which isn't mapped anywhere else. Uh, we're going to start nice and easy again. Yep, okay, cool. And we'll navigate our way back one last time. Let's just get that money. Eh. No, this way. It's a bit finickety. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Nope. All right. Nearly there. Come on. I think it's one more screen, isn't it? Or is it this screen? Yeah, it's one more screen, isn't it? Good navigation, James. There we are. And through there really not much to say about this is there uh, not until I get much further right I've picked up all the money I need and I've run into the shop again well not I'll worry about that right now let's see if we can get to exploding these things Right, my sense of navigation was terrible. That took a lot more maps than I thought it would. But here we are at the moment of truth. So we select with control, but this time we can hit with enter. And I've suddenly realized I don't have any. There's a big zero next to it. So I'll need to go to a shop. Yeah. There's a shop back here, right? Wasn't there? Oh, two screens away. Really? Come on, game. And I missed the shop. <laughs> right. Um, next item. Help you get over an abyss. Hey, that's what we need. We've got acid pot, extra energy, electro laser, extra time. Helium pods. Pump yourself up and fly over walls and abysses. Right, they're, they're very expensive, 
So what we really want is some grading. Um, why, why is that not buying? Oh. See, it says items left none. So they don't have any. They've got maps and they've got red keys. Great. So I guess we'll leave that shop. I wonder if shops have different inventories. Maybe they do. Let's see what we have. We start with nothing. So in other words, I'd have to go back to another shop and try and find the right shop with the right thing. And I can't be bothered doing that. <laughs> so what is this? It's it's a fun little sort of ball bouncing game with uh, interesting item based and inventory mechanics. It's got a pleasant enough soundtrack. Um, reminds me of Speedball, but without the uh, the on the rail kind of thing going on. More of a pinball-y style to it. It's got interesting momentum. I didn't get to the combat. First level was a little frustrating, but that's because I didn't use the shops properly. It's alright, I guess. It's not bad. Would I recommend it to anyone? Yeah, I guess. You know, if, you, if you're into this specific sort of thing, then yeah, you could probably get some fun out of this. It's well presented and fairly well done. And if you like me talking about DOS games, I do it a lot. I have hundreds of other videos, much more exciting than this one. Feel free to check out the channel, and if you like what you see there, there's a subscribe button too. But uh, I think I'm just gonna stay in one spot and not bounce, and just stay there. Until next time.